All right, so I haven't really let this thing eat at all since last year. And um, I, I don't know, it's felt like it. I drove it around like a couple weeks ago for like 10 minutes, tried to do donuts and soft grass and completely and utterly failed. Uh, so we're just gonna get it running, rip it up and down the driveway. That sprocket on the left is 100% bent like six ways to Sunday. So sometimes you give it some beans and it just throws the chain. Uh, so I guess, I guess I'm gonna have to put a chain back on, which shouldn't be too hard. I don't think I even have to loosen, it, loosen the engine, but um, she's definitely back. She's definitely a machine right there. It's, uh, it probably looks less scary than it really is because of, I don't know, the way the camera's set up. I'm gonna get a better spot so you can see me actually at speed. Uh, Cause there's only like two clips of this thing actually ripping at full throttle. So uh, yeah, I'll put this chain on. You know, you'd think I'd figure this out and maybe like work and fix this problem here. That would just make too much damn sense. You know, I can't even, I'm not even gonna bother like putting a new sprocket on this thing ever because it's a chromoly axle uh, that we welded the other sprocket to. So basically changing a sprocket on this thing would just be a pain in the ass. And this sprocket is part of this rim. It's like part of the hub. I don't even know how I'd begin to even work it straight. It'd be a huge pain in the ass. Okay, I can't do this. Apparently I lost my touch here. All right, with the help of a screwdriver, uh, I got it back on. That admittedly took me a lot longer than it should have. So that's a little bit embarrassing, but um, you win some and you lose some, I guess. You know, something I really should probably put on this thing is a kill switch that's hooked up to both of these engines because when you're sitting on this thing, having to reach behind you and just stuff your hand in here and hope you find the switch in time just in case something, God forbid, happens, it's not very safe. I mean, that's why I have I have this panel but like riveted in place with this you know fancy little sticker that was on my old laptop. It's all fucked up from that. I was going to put a switch there and I just, I just never did. But, you know what I did do? I put the SIG Vintage steering wheel on there because looks are more important than safety. And this thing looks like it's going to tear you in half. Um, I'm going to give it I'll give it one more pass if I can get that chain on easily. 
I'll just, uh, you know, let it rip. Yeah, so, um, you know, there she is. That's the twin engine go-kart. It feels like it's going to kill me. It uh, doesn't run efficiently or consistently. Um, the brakes don't really work. There's no kill switches unless you want to reach your hand by the spinning clutches and the um, exposed flywheel because that one doesn't even have a cover over there. That's just open flywheel. I've already got my finger on that once. Um, but when it does run, it runs great. Let me tell you. Um, but that's only about... I'd say 62.576% of the time. The other 20% and some change doesn't... 20? Wow, I'm bad at math. Wow, that's, that's embarrassing. I graduated high school, and I can't even... Okay, all right. Oh, well, that's that. See ya. Um, I guess the tag welds on that taillight did not hold. Where the... Oh, what the hell? Where could it? E where is it? Where could it even have fallen off? Oh my God! It's in the middle of the driveway. Well, you know, <laughs> good thing these tail lights are uh, reproduction. They're not. They're not original. Thirty-three through whatever year Ford. That's broken. Oh, that's the that's the, the light bulb in there. You know, I guess. Uh, yet again, you lose. You win some. You lose some. But they look all right. I think it's just a little scratched up. They're not originals. They're, they're reproduction, so... Just, uh... I guess I'll give it more than two or three tack welds next time. This thing shakes violently, so... Not really surprised.